you think of AMG, you automatically think of Mercedes. And there is a reason for it. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. Last episode, we looked at a direct Mercedes competitor in the 2011 BMW M5. Well, this week, it's the Mercedes CLS 63 AMG. AMG started out as an engine tuner 35 years ago with three people, and it now has over 580 employees. They used the Mercedes platform to race, and they met with success in the touring car division, all the way to practically dominating the coveted DTM, or German Touring Car Series as it's known. This company cut its bones in racing. Well, during this time, Mercedes joined AMG by making them the official tuner for the German car maker, and that changed as well. Mercedes decided to take over the performance company. It's now known as Mercedes AMG. What that did is provided the three-pointed star with an in-house performance division that's cranked out many of the higher performance cars that Mercedes now makes. And you can definitely tell the difference from a stock Mercedes and its AMG brand. AMG is probably most noted now for creating the Mercedes SLS AMG. It's unmistakable with the gullwing doors and brutish horsepower. But when Mercedes decides to produce a high performance car from its luxury stable, this is what you end up with the 2012 Mercedes CLS 63 AMG. A beautiful car aesthetically to most of us, and a performance based four door coupe. It's a direct competitor to the BMW M5. The CLS AMG has been redesigned after its initial offering as a four-door coupe that had a special look to it. The look was a retro concept from many years ago, but Mercedes definitely put a modern face on the idea. This original CLS was greeted by either love or hate. Personally, we liked it, but there was always something a little different about it. It really didn't fit. Now that the newer style's been introduced, guess what? You either love it or you think the old look was better. We think that form follows function, and this example of the Mercedes lineup design is just about right. A heavier stance, a more standout front end that looks as if it means business, and the silhouette of a car that's got a performance feel even before you actually drive it. Mercedes wanted this car to have new technology, and it got it. It's got a 5.5 liter twin turbocharged V8 that produces 518 horsepower, but if you want to go faster, an optional performance package is available that boosts that figure to 550 horsepower. Personally, we say go heavy or go home. The interior is uniquely Mercedes but with that special AMG flair, which means an understated look that couples modern materials such as carbon fiber and seats that hug the body that keep you in place while you careen around the on-ramp near your house and we know you do it. The brakes come standard as 14-inch rotors with special calipers, but you can also get them in carbon ceramic. Our view, if you're going to spend over 100 k for a car, don't whine about taking the extra step. So while you're at it, get the limited slip rear end as well. The only thing that you can say about a car like this is that it has a real racing heritage that Mercedes is allowed to be brought to the street. And it has lots of buttons for car control. Lots of pretty shiny buttons. I'm Michelle Rahoff with The Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. Next episode, let's look at an American icon, the Ford GT and the Ford GT40.